Okay, first can we just talk about how amazing this apartment is? Like, obsessed and this is like my dream kitchen. Okay, now real talk. <laughs> I'm coming to you from New York at my girlfriend Frankie's apartment. She was so kind to let me stay here and hosted me last night. We did facials and now I'm getting all ready for, I am ready, I'm getting mentally ready to go live on the feed feed, which I wanted to film a what I eat in the day while I am traveling. I had such a good response from the first one. I figured it'd be so fun to share another one with you while I'm traveling because I feel like this year has been the year of travel and I know a bunch of you travel and I wanted to share some tips and tricks on how I maintain my routine even when I'm on the road or gone. First things first, let's heat up some water. Started my day with my warm lemon water and now I'm drinking my matcha latte. So typically I'll bring a lemon with me and wherever I go I can get a cup of warm water. And then I will try and find either a matcha place or I bring my little Four Sigmatic packets and will make my own little mushroom elixir. And that just really helps maintain like my easing into the day. If I'm really hungry, I'll look around and try and find a smoothie spot. I'm just so excited to share this all with you and kind of as I'm walking through the city, I'm gonna share how I kind of discover new places and find things that are still making me feel my best even though I'm on the road. So I really hope you enjoy this. So I just walked and found this awesome juice spot that had gluten-free plant-based protein powder and this is like a really yummy spirulina e3 live uh, maca protein shake before i go live on the feed feed now i'm just waiting for my uber to come and take me over to their studio oh and i wanted to say see i brought my own silver straw which i love you can get these off amazon i'll add the link below and it just helps you be a little bit more sustainable while traveling it's so good so yeah that's the tip when you're traveling always search for like smoothie or juice place around where you're staying and typically there's or like a market of whole foods here i learned that a lot of bodegas will do that like make a smoothie for you so that's one of my first tips for what i do while i'm traveling what i eat in a day when i'm traveling We made this winter roasted veggie Buddha bowl with sauteed greens and this roasted carrot puree. So I just finished filming at the feed feed. It was so good. I'm gonna link it on our IGTV. So at Curry Girls Kitchen, you can watch it. It was so tasty. And now I'm walking to the subway to go eat at
favorite restaurant of the afternoon. I tried going to the Des and everything I wanted was not gluten free, unfortunately. So I went and got some wild fish tacos at Zemours, it was so good, and I found the cutest little restaurant. I feel like this entire what I eat in a day is me walking around because now I'm gonna go walk and get ice cream because that's what I wanted. And I was obsessed with the chef's table with milk or milk bar, so I'm gonna go see fingers crossed I can try some of her ice cream. I just went to milk bar and the ice cream, the cereal milk ice cream was not gluten free. I guess this is another tip that I do when traveling gluten free is that I always recommend looking up the restaurant that you want to go to like, and see if they have gluten free options before. Because I'm in New York and I don't mind walking around and I love seeing the city, especially like Nolita, Soho area where I am right now. I don't mind walking around. So now I'm gonna go walk and find a little park. They did have a gluten-free cookie that I'm gonna go enjoy and then make my way back up to where I'm staying. What do you think you're doing? How are you so, like, I don't understand. Like, why are you so close to my stuff? Back off. <laughs> Unfortunately, the last meal that I had on Friday night with my dear friend Maxie and her fiance Tori, they treated me to the most delicious French cuisine in their neighborhood of Greenpoint in Brooklyn. The restaurant was so dark, you couldn't see the food that we were eating. You can kind of see of the oysters that we started with, which were so good. I mean, everything we had there was so delicious. You just couldn't see it. They've really set the ambiance I flew home this morning and I decided I was gonna recreate the dinner that we had. Mule frites, I believe is what it is. And in English, mussels and fries. Because I feel like I was just craving mussels, I don't know why. And french fries is one of those things you gotta ask about because they're not always gluten free. I learned the hard way trying to call different restaurants to just pick up fries from that a lot of them weren't gluten free they're cross contaminated if you're celiac they also dust them in flour so that all the seasoning will stick they're breaded i mean i don't know what people do in the kitchen <laughs> they're potatoes you fry them yes cross contamination is a thing so if you are celiac you got to watch out for that but typically you can find gluten free fries hopefully and when i travel um i was just kind of like that's what i was craving I typically try and eat a little bit healthier, but whatever, this was it. So Leif and I are gonna ride our bikes down to the marina in Redondo Beach. They have beautiful fish that's fresh, local, wild, and get some mussels, and then on our way back home, pick up some fries, and we're gonna recreate this dinner that I had for my last meal in this What I Eat in a Day video. in a day while traveling through New York City. Honestly, I love traveling and I really love experiencing all the different food and cuisine. New York is such a melting pot with so, so many varieties of different foods that you can eat. And I love that they have so many great vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free um, options. And unfortunately, the two places that I was really like keen on going to get these specific treat-like things were not gluten-free. However, made the best of it. What I would recommend when you are traveling, 
is to call ahead look at some of the restaurants that you're interested in going to call them ask about those dishes or if you're like i was on this trip where i had friday to myself after i filmed with the feed feed i was just walking around and really exploring the city so i was okay just walking into places and seeing what they had that i could eat and if i wanted that and i ended up finding some really great spots even more spots that I will be coming back to eat at next time I go to New York. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my mom and I know that you're enjoying what we're making and watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel where every Wednesday we're uploading a delicious new video just for you. And make sure you follow along on Instagram at Curry Girls Kitchen because I'm constantly sharing what we're doing on the daily and you'll get to see pegs hiking around in Colorado, cooking up some fun things with my dad, and yeah, just come see all the things with us. We love, we love doing this and sharing it with you. You'll see us next week with another new video. Thank you for watching.